Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Covaflu K95 face mask. They have a very interesting name and I wonder if they came up with the name before or after the pandemic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Amazon listing really quick. These come in a box of 10 for $11.49. They have a 4.6 out of 5 rating with over 21,000 reviews. That is a lot of reviews. So let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. This is how they look. These are made in China and they follow the old GB2626 2006 standard. So this is a four layer mask and it is very thin. It has elastic headbands. The outer layer is a little rough. This is how it looks from the inside. It's not that soft from the inside. It's not the best nose wire. It's a little bit flimsy, but we're going to flatten it out and put it on. I am getting a good fit with this K95, so it's maybe a small to medium size. Like I said, the nose wire is not the best, so I am still getting uh, quite a bit of leakage, actually. So I'm definitely not getting a good seal with this mask. Let's go ahead and take a look at the collapse. It is creating quite a bit of collapse as well. So this is how it fits. My ears are actually bending in a little bit, as you guys can see. So they might be a little small. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is an attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.86% with a pressure drop of 22.7 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.67 and a pressure drop of 24.9 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.66 and had a pressure drop of 26.8 and had a pressure drop of 26.1 millimeters of water. Overall, I'd give this mask a 7 out of 10 when it comes to construction quality. Due to the weak nose wire, I wasn't really able to get a proper seal. When it comes to the fit, I was getting a good fit throughout the face, but the ear loops were a bit tight and it did make my, my ears go to the front and it wasn't quite comfortable. When it comes down to the filtration efficiency, they tested quite high, which is good. However, they also tested quite high when it comes to the pressure drop. And as you guys know, the higher the pressure drop, the less breathable a mask is. And unfortunately, these actually exceeded the 210 pascals threshold that all K95s have. So with that being said, this isn't really a mask that we're able to recommend. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let us know what mask we should test next. Or if you would like to send us a mask or respirator, please look at the description box down below. We're going to have our address along with our website and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our next video.